Hello friends, if you haven't subscribed our channel, please do subscribe and don't forget to press bell icon to get notifications of new videos. The next problem is, the post is to be pulled out of the ground using two ropes A and B as shown in below figure. So this is the given figure. So from here to here this is one post and uh, this has to be pulled out of the ground with ropes A and B ok rope A is subjected to a force of 600 Newton so here this is a rope A which is subjected to a force 600 Newton and is directed at 60 degree from the horizontal ok so here it is given it is directed at 60 degree from the horizontal Okay, if if the resultant force acting on the post is to be 1200 Newton vertical upward, so resultant is along the vertical axis. If the resultant is along the vertical axis, then the equations are summation of U is equal to R and summation of H is equal to 0. Determine the force T in rope B and the corresponding angle theta. Okay. This is one type of problem. Then the next type of problem is the resultant of two forces P and Q is 1200 Newton vertical. Determine the force Q and corresponding angle theta for the system of forces shown in figure. So this is the given figure. So here it is P is acting at 60 degree and the magnitude of this P is 600 Newton and Q is acting at uh, some angle that is theta with respect to y axis so here also we have to find Q and theta so that the resultant will remain 1200 Newton ok if you look into these two problems this one and this one If you look into these two problems, both the problems are same. Okay, so here it is 60 degree and the applied force is 600 Newton, and here it is 60 degree applied force is 600 Newton, and here it is Q and here it is T. Okay, but the angle made by this one with respect to vertical is theta, and the angle made by this one with respect to vertical is theta. Okay, and here also the resultant is 1200 Newton vertically upward and here also the uh, resultant is 1200 Newton vertical. Okay, so both the numericals are same. Here it is, here it's, it is directly given, here it is given along with the post. Okay, but while solving the problems, we should not consider this post. Without considering this one, we have to draw, we have to um, draw this type of figure the next we, have, we should proceed okay so hope you can solve this one after knowing how to solve this type of problem I'm going to solve this one the free body diagram of this figure is like this okay free body diagram means whatever the body it is there we should neglect that one okay the diagram which we draw that is free from the bodies okay so in short we call it as fbd that is free body diagram so free body diagram is like this so this is one horizontal line and this is the point where two ropes are uh, uh, attached so here it is 600 newton and which is acting at 60 degree and then next one more force is there that is T and uh, which is acting at theta with respect to vertical okay so now uh, to resolve the forces I should have the angle of uh, inclined forces either with respect to horizontal axis or vertical axis okay so here this 600 Newton force has angle 60 degree with horizontal and uh, this T has angle 
theta with vertical that means both the given forces have angles okay it may be known or unknown so if i resolve this one it becomes 600 cos 60 and uh, here it is 600 sin 60 and here it is t sin theta and in the upward direction it is t cos theta okay so these are the resolved components of the given force system and uh, in the question it is mentioned that if the resultant force acting on if the resultant force acting on the post is to be 1200 newton vertically upward okay that means summation of v is equal to r and that r is given that r is 1200 newton if the resultant is along the vertical axis, axis then i know the resultant the forces along the horizontal is zero okay so two equations are there and two unknowns are there that means i can solve this one so here i am first considering the summation of h that is summation of h is equal to 0 then next i am putting the summation of h is equal to 0 and writing the forces along the horizontal direction so this is the one force and that is moving towards the right hand side so this is sign convention positive negative so this force is moving towards the right hand side it is 600 cos 60 and this force is moving towards the left hand left hand side so it is minus t sin theta or else it can be written as t sin theta is equal to 600 cos 60 or this is equation number 1 next consider this equation summation of v is equal to r summation of v is equal to r and r is equal to 1200 so here it is 1200 is equal to summation of v so there are two forces which are along the vertical axis and both are in the upward direction so it is 600 sin 60 plus t cos theta so it is t cos theta is equal to 1200 minus 600 sin 60 okay so if i calculate this one it is 1200 minus 600 sin 60 it is 680.384 and call this as equation number 2 it is t cos theta okay so now two equations are there two unknowns are there okay so divide equation 1 by equation 2 it becomes tan theta is equal to 600 cos theta sorry it is cos 60 upon 680.384 so this implies theta is equal to tan inverse of 600 cos 60 upon 680.384 so here the angle is 23.794 degree okay and after this i have to resubstitute this value of theta in equation 2 or in equation 1 i will get it this theta okay so i am going to substitute this value in equation number 2 it becomes t cos 23.794 is equal to 680.384 so it is 680.384 divided by cos 
23.794 so the value of t is 743.587 newton and this is the solution for the given four system and uh, we should get the same answers for this one okay we should get the same answers for this one also so here this q will become t and theta will be same okay for this four system also the answers are same because both are same problems thank you thank you for watching the video till last if you like the video then don't forget to like share and comment and also to subscribe our channel